Next to Perspective, where we're looking at how the cultural world has been reacting to the conflict in Ukraine, artists and performers have been cancelling shows in Russia, requesting the closure of exhibitions and putting collaborative projects on hold in response to the invasion. Cultural institutions are also coming under growing pressure to cut ties with Russian oligarchs and the country will no longer be represented at major international events, including the Eurovision Song Contest. Well, to discuss this and more, we're joined in studio by Ukrainian artist Nikita Kratsov. Uh, Nikita, you're also one of the organisers of the Support Ukraine movement here in, in France. Yeah. But we'll start just by talking to you a little bit, bit about your own situation. How is it for you watching events unfold in Ukraine from here? And how but is your family? It's uh, very hard to see how day by day uh, the Russian army and Russian uh, people, they just make a genocide of my people, of my uh, nation, how they destroyed uh, every day uh, the city that I know, you know, and um, th this uh, is not war anymore. It's a, it's a crime, it's a political, it's a genocide. And that's why I think that uh, now we can't uh, speak about these things like the war between Ukraine and uh, Russia. We need to speak like about the real crime, genocide, and uh, so we need to do something to stop uh, this evil, you know. And uh, well, it's, uh, it's... And Nikita, do you have family back in Ukraine? Oh, yeah, but uh, well, of course I have a family in, in Ukraine and I have a lot of friends in Ukraine, so... Um... How are they coping? But everybody, is, 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 some are blocks in, at homes, so some are blocks uh, in um, in metro stations. So now Russians they try to cut um, our t TV not to see the news, like they do in 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 Russia, because they blocked. They they don't. Uh, he don't even show to his people the reality. So he blocked all the canals. And people think that, uh, I don't know what they think uh, that about this one. And Nikita, you, you are using your art in a way to send a message to Russia. Just talk us through some of the work you've brought in. Yeah, it's here. a lot now uh, thanks to French uh, people. And um, like we feel a lot of participation. And uh, this uh, we print uh, with, uh, with uh, Academia of Art. It's a uh, bazaar in Paris. Uh, we start the movement of uh, the posters, uh, like to, to, to put more people um, acting uh, for this, uh, like to put attention on this war. And we really need uh, to cover the sky, you know, because uh, in our situation, uh, our people, they can fight on the ground, but uh, we are very open. We, we have nothing to, to, to shoot the bombs. And they put and put and put the bombs on, on the hospitals, on like invalid house, on the children's houses. And uh, it's dying a lot of just the civil people every day. Uh, they, they just, uh, well, it's uh, barbarians. Creating work like this, what kind of message do you think it sends? What kind of impact do you think it has? To, to, to show the people the reality that uh, the people... Ah, these posters, we also we try to make uh, like um, some, some, some... to get some money to Ukraine, because uh, now the money is also go down. Uh, so the budget, the war is very expensive. Things, and know. Nikita, what do you think of, we've seen moves by artists around the world, singers, musicians, performers, they're pulling out their, their concerts in Russia, they're no longer going to perform. We've seen that Russian, uh, even athletes, when it comes to sports, they're being, um, like they're not allowed to perform on the world stage. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you think that cultural boycotts really can make a difference? Uh, well, you know, as it, uh, it's can make a difference, of course, uh, because uh, the Russian propaganda in France, it was very strong. And, you know, uh, it was the Russian affair to, to Pompidou Center Russian collection. The Russian make some Russian artist in Petit Palais. The Russian makes this, the Russian make... So they have a very strong institute of uh, propaganda Russian culture. And so a lot of French people and uh, like Plu Droit, Right people, they uh, they support Russia, and still in France there is a lot of people who think that uh, I, I don't know where it comes that uh, in Ukraine we are fascist and we have some fascism. I don't know, so it's it's like fairy tales that Putin create and he believe in these things, you know. 
that only one fascist that is exist is is uh, Vladimir Putin who really we joke in Ukraine that it's uh, thanks God that we have only two brother nations it's Russia and Belarus and not a lot it's enough because we have problems only from them you know so. Um, we've also seen, I'm not sure if you, you have much contact with artists who work in Russia, but even there, people are protesting, they're withdrawing their works. Do you think people are worried about, you know, a fear of reprisal? Is it something that you would be concerned about at all? Well, I, I think it's, uh, it's just a fear. In Russia, they're afraid, uh, they're afraid to, to participate. They're afraid that it will not work and they will become a political, uh, like, prisoners or something. So that's why. Some people they just think that they will sit at home and waiting when everything will finish, you know. But no, it's, it doesn't work anymore like that. So uh, Russia can stop only Russians, you know, and they need to go on the streets to make a protest to show that they don't want the war, because um, now they receive no information. The Facebook, everything is blocked, but it was blocked uh, by Russia before it was blocked uh, by um, by America, like. American. Facebook is American. So, uh, yeah, now a lot of uh, Russia lose a lot of money, a lot of... Uh, yeah, she really become like without... Uh, and what's next for you? Do you plan to hold protests here in, in Paris? Yeah, we, we speak a lot with... Um, in Goethe, with Goethe Institute, we decide now to republish the book, uh, The War of Mushrooms, that we write with Andrei Kurkov and uh, to publish it in um, Berlin, in, in, in Germany. And all the money will go to Ukraine for these things. Like with the posters, uh, we, we make the meetings. Uh, and so now we really need uh, to, to, to cover the sky. And it's, I think that it's really for now because they will just destroy totally the city and uh, it will be desert there, you know. Well, thank you so they, much. We'll have to leave it there, Nikita. Nikita Kratsov, Ukrainian artist, thank you so much for thank being you with us for this morning and for your and, uh, time. Yeah, thanks.